Welcome back. In the previous part, we found out what happened to Tatiana, and it was not a pleasant outcome at all, was it? We informed Isabel, and she also informed us that Sid and Jill should be waiting for us in a abandoned chapel up there. I imagine we speak to you on the way, though. We spoke to you before, but the dame said you would be coming. Your friends are waiting at the chapel atop the hill. Go now. Cheers, mate. I'm glad to be out of more, though, and moving away from that area. Because some of the side quests really painted a picture, didn't it? It really did. Not a pleasant place at all around there. I'm hoping we can do something about it, though. Help the people out. We shall see. We're not going this way? No. Okay. Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. There's a back door? I do wonder what this place is going to be like when we hopefully destroy the Mother Crystal. Based on everything we've come to know so far, the Pleasure Houses are a flam. Safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. Brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. So then. How do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahamut, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. <laughs> an outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? 
To leave us to die when our bodies are spent. Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? No. I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. So you best make ready. The world won't save itself. I like Sid so much. Oh, very different symbol this time. When was the last time we had the two swords? I can't remember. All right then, Drake's head. In majestic silence has Drake's head ever stood vigil over the Empire of Sambrek, or Sambrek, and its bejeweled capital. You have reached a pivotal moment in the story. If you continue, you will not be able to return. Definitely no quests or anything. I just want to be sure. I maybe should have just looked at the local map, but you know what? We'll, we'll just we'll double check. We'll double check. Are there going to be any that be here? We'll check over with... What was his name? Goat? I think it was Goat. Fancy giving us a hand? If you've got anything. Quick look. Nope, we're good there then. Always okay. something in there. Take a seat. No, there's literally not always something that That was my point, mate. There's nothing at the moment. Right, Drake's head. Drake's head. I made a save recently, so I should be okay save wise. Drake's head. There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. Hmm. I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. <sighs> Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. The Crystal's Curse. Come on, this way. Try to stay out of sight. Obviously. The question now is for me. Don't worry, the passage is empty. Story wise, sure, we've had the theories around the idea that the Mother Crystals are 
pulling in or sucking in the ether, draining the world of its ether. The question is why? Is it something to do with the red dot next to the moon? Or is there something else going on? Is it unrelated to the red dot? Because that could be a red herring, like a red herring dot. That could be exactly what it is, or maybe a reference to Final Fantasy XIV. That's all it could be. It could be nothing. So what is going on with the Mother Crystals? Because honestly, I feel like we got to this point quicker than I expected. Which implies there's much more going on than we realize. Which is exciting. Very impressed with this game so far, though. The world building is absolutely fantastic. They really make you feel for the... people of this world. And their plight. They really do. Y you end up very much behind what Sid's doing. You, you want to help him. You want him to achieve his goals. But also Clive's slight interpretation of it. All right, not quite empty. Let's get this over with. One single man from reaching the sanctum, so shut your gob and keep your eyes open. They're not from the garrison. I swear yeah, this passage used to be secret. The enemy's upon us! <sighs> of course it did. Perfect plans, Clive. Perfect plans. You know what to do, boy. Yeah, how typical. Where were you aiming then, Clive? Sick of Toggle. There, boy. The only problem with doing this combo idea that I've come up with is that I just do the holding down square to get my flingy sword. Is we don't really use the magic anymore, so where could we apply that? Because we could. Do both. I have fire charged up. Well, fire at this point. I have fire charged up. And my burning blade. I wonder how we can use that. Hmm. Very, very intriguing. We should actually, before we do anything else, actually look at the abilities. So what we got here. Hmm. Because we got the burning blade and the down thrust. We don't really use the down thrust. Let's actually reset everything. Yes. All right, so we definitely want the burning blade because I really, really do like the burning blade. You can actually get the details on it as well here and there. So like mastery reduces time required. So it's like, you know, having that mastered a very, very good idea. Magic burst. See, that could be the thing, because square triangle, square triangle, square triangle, square triangle, hold down square, and then unleash burning blade. That might be a thing I'll try. See if that works out for me. Charged? I'm not sure about that yet, so I'll hold off on that. Should have a look about these as well. Limit break, and we can do the limit break. Let's, 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 let's see. Like stick to because I do like that. I do like you. So what would happen if we mastered them? Because we've got 2.4k. Mastery allows assignment to any icon. Oh. Okay. Should have checked that sooner. So what if we mastered that? Increases shift distance. Eh, I mean doing it up slightly. Hmm. It is a case of, I like the idea of being able to equip these to different icons. That is quite nice, actually. So if we get Flames of Rebirth... 
Hmm. They're interesting. They're interesting. Ooh. It's it's so tempting to go for one of these and assign it somewhere else. Then also get, say, Heat Wave. But the question is which and where? Because I do, I do like Scarlet Cyclone. I do like Rising Flames. What do I like from Garuda? I played around with Gouge. I like Gouge. I'm going to get that. Aerial Blast. That does look very nice, to be honest. I'm going to get that. And that's going to be our second Garuda skill. Hmm. So what will happen if we get this done? Increases claw range. Oh, that, that, that could actually work out quite nicely for us, though, couldn't it? Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with... We'll I was going to say we'll do that, but we ain't got enough points. That's fine. That's fine. So what could we do down here? Got ignition. I mean, I like ignition, don't I? I mean, I like both of them as well. The mastery on them? Yeah, allows assignment to any icon. Oh, it's so tempting with some of these. It, I, mm, you know, right. Okay, let's, let's back it up. Let's back it up. There's so many good skills now. So I like the Burning Blade. We, we've seen how I'm using that. That's quite nice. I do like... Ignition. That's fine now, because then we can assign it to you. I'll have Ignition over Rising Flames. So we'll get Scarlet Cyclone done up a little bit. And we'll actually, mm, we don't need to assign it to another icon yet, do we? We'll get Gouge going. Ooh... We'll get the area blast. Get the gouge. Because then it's that we've got you. We don't... Like, mastery there, it's only gonna... Ooh, hold on. Yeah, we're upgrade, aren't we? Yeah, upgrade. Widens area of effect. I feel like we get the... Widen the area of effect for that. Hmm... Wait, there's more on the limit break gauge? Oh, God. <laughs> so I should read all of them. I'm going to go for this one first. It's like having the limit break is just very nice. Right, so. What did we have over here? We'll actually get that magic burst. Okay. We can't get the aerial burst now. Blast, even. Blast, not burst. Hmm. I mean, that one's very close to that one as well. Hmm. You got 323. You know I'm going to hold on to what we've got now. So I like the limit break being mastered. I'd like to get this one done a bit more. I'd like to actually get Flames of Rebirth and Aerial Blast at this point. Let's actually equip them, you know. So. Let's see here. So, I like the Ignition. I like the Cyclone. We'll have the Ignition there. The Cyclone there. Here, we've already got Wicked Wheel attached in there, which is what I'd change up. Basically, I want, I want Triangle to be my AoE one. They're the ones I'd change it with the bigger skills we've got available now. So we want Gouge here, which I will eventually change out as well. Okay. We'll see how that works for me. They never stood a chance. You're welcome. I wonder if we can get up to Fire Raga. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. Because we get up to fire it by holding it down. Which I don't have anymore. Like, that's the thing. I don't have that anymore. Where was that one? This one wasn't here. Charge of magic. We do want that. So, reduces charge time. 
Yeah, because that takes us to Fire Dog. I'm wondering how we get to Fire Dog, if it's even a thing. We'll see. We'll see. Two chunks of right. And all good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. Typical. I'm liking the limit bar having four bits now. Oh, I want to see what happens when we get four. Captain! Two arms! Two. Summon the cannoneer! Yeah. At once! <laughs> you know what to do, boy. See, I'm trying the square, square triangle, square triangle. See how that works. So. Oh, I'm keeping an eye on what's going around at me at the moment, so... Right. Square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle. Hmm, I don't think it works with how I want to do things. That's the only thing there. It's like you can do it, it's just I don't feel I'll be using it. It, it doesn't have the right feeling of flow to me that I like. What's, what's this? What's this? Oh! You know what to do. Sick of toggle. Yeah, hmm. boy. Just looking at about the idea of like maybe charging my magic instead of the sword. But again, I could do both, and I want to see what happens there. So, what if we charged up both? Then unleashed. Let me unleash. I was testing things, game. Terrible. Level up, though. Oh, are you giving me something to test things on? I do apologize, game. I think this may be the moment I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed? You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. That's a mortar, all right. We were talking. Then let's shut him up. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> okay, so we want to test the idea of holding on to both here. So we've got the arrow and the sword with the burning blade now. So. Did that unleash both? Not this time. Now if we hold down and get arrow row. Would you do you mind? I'm busy testing things. That's the charge shot. We do the burning blade and you get the burning strikes. So what happens if you do both at the same time? It seems to just do the burning strikes and maybe not worth doing the magic one. Hmm. Not this time. It's still worth having, I feel, because then I could stay away from an enemy and then unleash you know what to do. charge shots. That could be good in itself. So still still nice to have that around. But I just won't use it as part of the combo when I'm doing melee stuff. I'll be fine now. the ether in the air. Let's topple him. Let's launch a full four bar limit at him. You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy! 
Staggered. Get him, boy. You know what to do, boy. Get him. Give them all you've got, boy. Don't let them get away. Got him right at the end there with the limit. Why would you die? Is he? Oh, bollocks. He's gone, Akashic. A what? Poor wretch. Save your pity. You'll get none in return. There's nothing left of him but hatred and rage. Let's end his torment. Sick of Torgon! All this time. We had that happen before? That seems like a new term to me. Get him, boy! Not this time. Damn, boy! You know what to do, boy. See here, it's like magic. Magic is good there. Over here. Get him. You know what to do, boy. Get him. Get him, boy. There, boy. There, boy. Not this time. Get him. Get near him now. Get near him. Ooh, nice. You know what to do, boy. Sick of Toggle. Get the one you've got, boy. You know what to do, boy. Sick of Toggle. Using that limit right now. You know what to do. Not this time. Sick of Toggle. Get him. Too slow. Over here. You know what to do, boy. Get him. You know what to do, boy. Not this time. Ah, oh, left it too late on the stagger for the Not this time. deadly embrace. Not this time. Get up, boy. Yeah. Sick of toggle. Not this time. Get up, boy. Sick of Toggle. You know what to do, boy. Yeah. Oh, it was dangerous, dangerous. Just go limit, just go limit. He's done, he's done, he's done. There we go. The favor of the Inferno. Increase ignition damage by 12%. That was a fun fight. I enjoyed that. I'll never get used to that. Akashic or no, he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. Drowned in ether. God, duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Akashic, this is what we want. This is why these things are here. The irreversible change brought about by a living being's overexposure to ether. Creatures are stripped of any intelligence or sense of self they may once have had and become suffused with life force? Life force, okay. Usually manifesting as extreme strength and aggression. Flora can also turn, resulting in their twisted overgrowth. Those with ethereal tolerance, however, such as dominance and bearers, 
are less likely to turn Akashic. Okay. Okay. That's the point of the law thingy though, isn't it? So we can get these little gaps filmed in. Ah, breathe deep of the blessing, my friends. Who said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits? Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. I do like this option to look at the law, though, because it's genuinely a good way to do exposition without making it seem like the characters don't know anything about the world. Usually end up with a character who's new to the region or something like that and needs everything explaining. Or someone's got amnesia and doesn't know anything. So I think like Final Fantasy X, you have Titus or Titus, however you say it, not really knowing the world and they have to explain it to him. And by explaining it to him, they're explaining it to us. Here, they've avoided that because these guys know exactly what Akashic is. There's no need to explain it to each other, but we don't. So that's why we've got active time law sorted out. So what's an ether flood? Pools of concentrated ether that form on the land's surface. Thought to be caused by an imbalance in its diffusion beneath. Okay. Though ether is usually invisible, at flood level concentrations, it takes on a blue glow. Hmm. Those with a natural ethereal tolerance can survive exposure to a flood, at least for a short time. But most living things will eventually succumb to its effects, losing their minds and turning Akashic. Cool. See, these two, I don't feel like we really need to investigate because we have some idea of what these are. But these, no, I, I needed that little gap filled in. So thank you for the active time, Law. It's great. What we got then? Oh, the miners. The guards. Too far gone. The ethers made monsters of them. All we can do now is put them out of their misery. Isabel said she thought the Empire might be planning to abandon the capital. Could this be why? She said you could call her Elizabeth. Never mind. If ever there was a reason to run sticks, an ether flood would be it. Oh, man. Those cards at the gate. They weren't there to keep people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. There, boy! Damn. So we can't go that way, even though there's an item there. That's a hell of a chasm. Someone's going down there, aren't they? Why have the scene otherwise? Oh. Doesn't look that far. Right. Goodbye, Sid. Some help. Hold on. Well done, Clive. Well done. to me. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side, eh? At least you won't get lost. <laughs> I like him so much.
what we'll do though, time wise, is probably see that as a place to actually end this part here. And in the next part, we'll carry on down into the mine here. Ta-da for now.